Jane Figlerville. All right, welcome back. And for those of you that don't know me, I am Mrs. Graham, your high school principal. And this morning, you might already kind of feel like the energy is a little bit different in here. What did we typically do, seniors, on your first day of school? What was the assembly like? Talking about rules, regulations, and that will come, but today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna shake things up a little bit. But before we get to the heart of the assembly, I do wanna talk to you about three expectations that we have when you come to school. The first one is be on time. The second one is be respectful of your peers, teachers, and anyone that you come into contact with in the building. And the third one is to have a positive attitude. That can be challenging. All it takes is a car pulling out in front of you on your way to school, you can't find a book, your mom or dad look at you the wrong way in the morning, right? That makes for a difficult day. But the thing about being positive is it's almost like a muscle. The more positive you are, the better you become at it, and you're able to face those life challenges. You get better at it. At Big Larville High School, we want you to leave here college and career ready. And you may see that. That's our district vision statement for you. And what does that mean? That means a lot of things. That means we want you to have the academic knowledge that you need to be successful in whatever career you choose or if you go on to college. But what it also means is that as opportunities come your way, we want you to be prepared to take on those challenges. And that's what life is about. So every one of you sitting in front of me is very unique and you offer something to our community. And I want you to remember that. So how many of you are Orioles fans? Yes? Woo, go O's. All right. So, this morning we do have a guest here with us. We have a guest with us, and if you're an Orioles fan, you may recognize this guest. Before I introduce him, I do want to read you a piece out of a book called The World is Flat. It's basically a history of the 21st century and how at one point before technology, every country was isolated and we did our own thing. But with digital technology, um, it allows us to look at what other countries are doing. They can learn from us. We can learn from them, making the world flat. The author writes this about the speaker. My wife and I have season tickets to the Baltimore Orioles with friends. As anyone who attends games at Camden Yards knows, there is a guy there who sells lemonade in the lower deck who has perfected a dance routine around how he shakes and prepares the lemonade. He does a little jig and then high fives you before he hands you the drinks. I love to watch him operate because all he is selling is water, sugar, and lemon in a plastic cup. Yet I always notice by the end of the game, he's carrying around a wad of bills and tips. In April, in 2006, I went to the Orioles opening day game. I scanned the stadium for this lemonade man wanting to tell him that I'd written about him. When I told my host whom I was looking for, one of them said, haven't you heard? He now rents himself out for private parties. He had developed a whole new side business and even handed out advertising brochures at the game. He made himself into something more. He elevated himself into a better paying job by adding a personal dimension to his intangible dimension to his vanilla work. So, Biglerville High School, are you ready to get fired up for the 2017-18 school year? Yeah. Woo!
different. Kids, you got phones? Take them out. Take them out! Turn them on! Turn them on! This is gonna be a little different. You can snap the chat, you can Instagram, you can tweet, you can face the book, you can do whatever you want. So take your phones out. Does that sound good? I want to hear some noise! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now we're here. I'm fired up to be here, Bedlamville! You guys rock! So, before I start talking, we have a little fun. Ms. McClain, can you play a little video first, please? Thank you. Mr. Mark Rosenberg, you may know me as the Lemonade Shaking Guy at Camden Yards at Oriole Park, M&T Bank Stadium, FedEx Field, Nationals Park. But guess what? Did you also know that I do auctioneering? So, shaking up weddings and bar buttons and baby. Kids of all ages, I want to thank each and every one of you for stopping by my website. Just click around to learn a little bit more about me, and I want to be at your next event to fire you up. Yeah. Now that just tells you a little synopsis where I got started where I'm at. Mr. McClain, play one more video. This is from an actual oil commercial. Go for it, Mr. McClain. kids and having a good time and next thing you know he comes to me and says look I need you to help me out at Camden Yards sell a little iced tea sell a little lemonade just to get me through this next month we're getting a lot of people that are quitting on me because it's hard work and can you just help me out for a month and after that you're free to go I said Jed okay I'll help you out so I get to the stadium and when I get to the stadium he hands me a tray I mean, and I said, what is this for? 
He says, well, I know once you got here, you'd help me sell some lemonade. I said, I thought I'd be behind a concession stand to help you sell that lemonade. Well, no, that was just to get you. I need you to help me sell lemonade in the stands for the fans. I said, well, what do I do? He says, look, you put one hand like this, and you put one hand like this, and so when someone asks, you shake the water, the sugar, and the ice, and the lemon, like that. So that's easy enough. So he put me all the way upstairs, up in the nosebleeds, and I was very generic. Lemonade here. Who wants one? You know, a couple of people, I want lemonade, I want lemonade. So I'm like, okay, I put my tray down, I take the lemonade. You like this, and pass it down, please. Okay, pass it down, and money comes back, and after five days, my body's aching, I'm not having any fun, and I'm not making any money whatsoever. And I'm like, Jen, man, you're killing me here. I said, I promised you a month, but she says, look, I went, it was a Saturday day, I'm moving you downstairs. And at that time, we had assigned sections. So he put me to the end of the third base dugout to the left field foul pole. He says, that's your assigned section. One of those hot summer days, 98 degrees, 100% humidity. I go down the stairs. And you know, you ever been to a sporting event, guys, and you hear music in between innings? You ever hear that? They play music in between innings or the football game to get you fired up? Well, some song goes on. And I don't know, I'm like, okay, I'm liking the song. Next thing you know, I'm like, lemonade, who wants one? It was one of those hot days, and my body's aching, my arms, my legs. I'm like, I don't want to be there. And if you happen to be right in front of me, and you ask for that lemonade, I took my tray, and I slammed it down. And I took that lemonade. I said, if you want it, you're going to get it now. I did like that. I said, pass it down, pass it down. <laughs> and the reaction was, oh my gosh, what are you on? <laughs> my reply was, I'm on lemonade, damn it, buy one. <laughs> well, the next thing, all the hands started going up in the section. I want lemonade. I want lemonade. I want lemonade. And I'm like, wow. So I'm like shaking and I'm going crazy. People are like, they're like, whoa, wow. And next thing you know, at the end of the day, I go home and I count my money. And I'm like, wait a minute here. What's going on? Because the first five days I was making nothing. All of a sudden I'm like, hmm, I may have something here, but this isn't going to last. This is just. This is just a couple day thing and it's gonna bypass. So all of a sudden, six weeks go on. All of a sudden, the owner of the Orioles calls my manager. And he says, what the hell is this guy doing? Contorting about what's going on? And my manager, Petey says, wait a minute, takes out the sales. Takes out the sales sheet. He read the sales were off the charts compared to anybody in the stadium that they've ever had. He told the owner, these are safe. He said, shit, he can do whatever he wants. <laughs> keep it going, keep it going. So I was creating excitement. I was creating fun. I was creating energy, creating passion, because at the end of the day, I want to put a smile on your face. Yes, the money's good, but I want to put a smile on your face to remember where you were at at that particular given time and moment. Because you know, kids, 10 years from now, you're not going to remember the game. You're not going to remember the score, but you're going to remember the good time that you had. And that's memorable. So all of a sudden, two months go by, and this guy comes running up to me. I'm like, well, what's going on? He says, I want to hire you for my son's bar mitzvah party. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, I want to hire you. I'm like, excuse me? Yeah, I want to hire you for the lemonade shaking guy. The lemonade what? He says, yeah, I want to hire you for the lemonade shaking guy. I'm like, all right, he says, give me your business card. Business card? What's a business card? I don't have a business card. I said, look, you take my number down. So he takes my number down and says, well, my entertainment consult will be in touch with you. Your entertainment, what will do what will what? So she gives me a call. And she says, so what do you do? I don't know. I like shake my name. No, no. What do you do? I said, baby, I'm like a ball of fire. I'm going to fire it up. She's like, all right. 
So I did that first party. And remember, kids, you never forget the first of anything, right? The first of anything. So I did the party. Looking back, I was OK. But they thought I did a great job. So all of a sudden, five months go by, and this other entertainment consultant, we've been trying to reach you for the last five months. I'm like, yeah, we want to hire you for a big convention coming in at the Baltimore Aquarium to entertain convention planners from all over the country. That's when the light bulb went off. I said, I think I may have something here. But I said, I can't just go there and shake. I got to come up with some different things. So I started with my crazy mind, developing props and making people say and do certain things, pretending on how I dress them up. And group, I, instead of pertaining to one individual, I'd make a group and make a circle around a person, and it would be interactive. And then it just took off. From that, to auctioneering, to motivational speaking, to golf tournaments, to sales meeting presentations, to team unity building, to doing Super Bowls, to doing World Series, to doing All-Star Games, and it just took off. And so I never intended, but I knew I had something there, and I honed the skill set, and I worked very hard. There's a lot of work that goes on behind the scenes. Yes, it fell on my lap, but if I didn't work hard and prepare in preparation, doing my home work, I want to be where I'm at today. And that is key. So I have a few things that I use for my success. The first thing is acclimation. You have to acclimate yourself to the room, to the party, to the situation that's involved. I just don't want to jump in your face and be like, whoa, 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 back up, back up. I want to acclimate. Welcome to the party. If it's at the stadium, hey, I have a lot of regs. Hey, good seeing you again. I'd like to warm up. I'm not just going to go full blown. I want to acclimate my. Oh. Come on! <laughs> Put that. Who is this? Come on! What's your name? Huh? Yeah, baby, I'm trying to do a speaking engagement. I got all these kids here to kick the school year up. And you're like, blah, 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 blah. I got time for that shenanigans, baby. I'm right here, oh yeah. I can't hear you. I'm right here, oh yeah. I'm right here, oh yeah. I'm right here, say Mr. Shaky, guys, in the middle of a talk. And he's trying to convey a message. Thank you, girlfriend. I'm trying to take care of business now. Here you go. What's your name? Kinsey. Kinsey's a bit tied up right now. She's a little busy. Take care of this meeting. We'll talk to you later, Mommy. Yeah. <laughs> the situation. Just don't jump in someone's face. The next thing that I find is so important, guys, and I hopefully you can agree to that. Let's create some fun, right? Let's create fun in our lives. Life's trials and tribulations up, down, and around. Let's have some fun and do it in a good way. Because at the end of the day, I want to put a smile on your face. Like I said, you're not going to remember what that game was 10 years from now. Was it 5 to 3, 6 to 5? You're not, but you're going to remember. God, that little crazy guy, he made me laugh. I had so much fun, my belly was aching. And that's what you're going to take from it. And that's what you're going to remember. It's creating fun. And that, that's the most important thing. Remember, anything you do in life, if you get into sales, if you become a plumber, at the end of the day, they're buying you. They're buying you. At the end of the day, there's a 50 lemonade guys, 300 beer guys, 1,000 electricians, 1,000 of this, 
2,000 of that. How are you going to separate yourself from the competition? That is the key. Separate yourself from the competition. It's so important. And to give everything you have, everything. I don't care what I did five years ago. I don't care what I did 10 years ago. You guys don't care what I did yesterday. All you care is, what are you going to do for me right here? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. That's right. What are you going to do for me right here? That's it. So I always believe in look someone in the face, shake their hand, look them in the eye, let them know that I'm here. That's right. And we're going to have a great time, trust me. We're going to have a great time. And let the customer know that you care. So important. Let them know that you appreciate them. Don't take the customer for granted. Let them know that you care. Because at the end of the day, they may not come back to you. You don't want to do a one-hit wonder. You won't repeat business. Let the customer care. Honesty. I know we hear it over and over again. What is honesty? I work in a business where I deal with a lot of cash. And I can't tell you how many times people give me money thinking that, oh, well, they just gave me 20 bucks, and in that 20 bucks, two tens, there was a 50 or a 100. And they never knew. Give it back. Be honest with your clientele, because you would want done what's done to you, right? What comes around goes around. Do the right thing. And if you do the right thing, life is beautiful, because it's karma. Do the right thing, how you live your life. So I always take care of my customers as if I, I would want to be treated. Very important. You know it, big boy. <laughs> Ever hear of tabs about relationships? Why do tabs with lemonade? And so all of a sudden, if I see you there, I, I got regulars, and all of a sudden I'll come back and say, hey, look, don't worry about the money now, because I know they're going to be buying throughout the course of the game. And at the end of the game, the eighth inning, I'll come by and collect the money. It makes it easy for my customers. And it also locks them into me. They're not buying from anyone else. But every time they don't feel like digging in their pocket, taking out the money, passing it down, passing it down, I make it so easy for them. But it's the relationship. And a lot of times, I've got a lot of customers, and I call them customers, not fans, that will sometimes, for whatever reason, they'll leave the game early. And don't worry, they all have my number. And they'll text me. They get more upset than me. Shaky, I forgot. Don't worry, I'll see you next game. Whenever that may be, week, two weeks, whenever. It's the relationship that we built over the years. And that's the key to, one of the keys to my success is the relationship building. Team unity. Am I right? Team unity. I can't do it by myself. If you guys only knew what went behind the scenes, it would blow your mind. You've got people preparing, stocking, getting you out of the room quick, fast, and efficient. And without them, I can't do my job. It's impossible. So you need a good team behind you for enable for me to do my job. Because if I tried to do it by myself, eh, not going to work. It would take up too much time, too much energy, and I couldn't go out and serve the clients out like they need to be served. So you need a good team behind you. Very important, very important. No matter when I do parties, I don't just show up, here I am. You have a whole team behind that's setting things up prior to me even showing up. It's so important to have a great team. Don't live on past accomplishments. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter what I did, doesn't matter Oh, yeah, I sold 500 lemonades 10 years ago. Doesn't matter. What am I going to do today? Am I right? What am I going to do today and tomorrow? Doesn't matter what I did. I can learn from my experience, but I still have to keep my game up to give the best service that I possibly can give. Because at the end of the day, whether I'm at a stadium event, whether I'm at a party, they want the best of me. And I'm going to give them the best of me. They don't want to hear, oh, yeah, I heard you did so-and-so's party, and it was amazing. And then I get to there. They don't want to hear, I'm tired, or I'm not feeling good. They don't want to hear that. What are you going to do for me right here and now? That is key. Key to my success. Never live on my past accomplishments. Learn from the past. 
Take that valuable information, but never forget. Never forget. Passion and love. I can't fake this. You have to have passion no matter what you do in life. When you go out in this big world, have passion. Have passion. I know it's cliche, but enjoy what you do. Find something that you love and do well at, and you'll love it for the rest of your life. But have passion doing it, and don't fake it. I don't care what you do. I don't care what it is, but have passion doing it. And be the best at it. And let the people know, the customers know, that you really care about them. Because then you're gonna have a very long, fruitful career. But most importantly, you're gonna love what you do. You're gonna love what you do. And that is so important in life, to have passion. If you're just gonna go by it, find out. We all have passion. Find out what it is, draw from it, and go for it. I'm excited to stimulate the knowledge. You guys are like, what do you mean by that? So when I'm out talking to the fans, sometimes if it's a slow game, we're having deep thought, provocative conversations, and I'm building that relationship with the customer. So we're constantly, it's not just the shake, it's not just the sale, it's about the relationship that I've developed with the customers that we go deeper than just the lemonade. And that's life. That's life. It's so important. I've been doing this, this is my 20, First year. You guys weren't even alive, right? 21st year! It's impossible for me to keep this going if I didn't believe everything that I believe in. To keep it going at this high level. And that's with anything you do in life. I want you to be the best version of you. Whatever you are, be the best version of you. Don't try to copy anyone, be the best you that you can be. At the end of the day, I've heard it all. People call me this, he's the rooster on acid, he's the crazy, but at the end of the day, like I just worked a concert last night down at Pier 6. It was amazing. And I was hanging out. People recognized me from years past from either parties that I, I've done or that they've been to or games that they've been from Orioles, Ravens, Redskins, National. I've done it all, Capitals, World Series, Super Bowls. People, over the course of years, people run into me. And at the end of the day, it feels really good that people recognize that your service, that you made a difference in their lives because you put a smile on their face. And putting a smile on someone's face is priceless. Priceless. When I see a little kid and I can put a smile on their face, they're not going to remember that game, but they're going to remember that time they had. Mom and dad's taking the picture and they see when they're five. So all of a sudden when they're 19 years old, they'll look back when they were six years old and see the picture of them smiling and having a great time, that's what they remember. They don't remember what the score was or what the game was or who hit what where. They remember the time that they had. That's priceless. You gotta love yourself. I was, I have ADHD, you can't tell. <laughs> Can you tell? Little high energy, little high energy, but that's okay. But it took years for me to figure, say, look, this is who I am. And I love who I am. And I'm not trying to change myself for anybody. I want to be the best version of me that I can be. And I feel that's so important that we all forget about that. We're trying to, you get inundated with so much stuff on TV and magazines and radio. But at the end of the day, be the best version of you. Be the best version that you can be. I'm not trying to copy anybody else. I'm me. This is who I am. And I love being me. And I took what I thought was a negative with this high energy and turned it around into a positive. So we all have something. Use what you have and use it as a positive influence, not in a negative. And I believe we can all do that. Do you agree? Do you agree? Here's my last thing for my secret recipe. Live a very healthy lifestyle. Live a very healthy lifestyle. It's so important because at the end of the day, mind, body, and soul, I couldn't do what I'm doing if I abused myself. I live a very healthy lifestyle. I try to do the right thing. That doesn't mean 99.9% .9 of the time, but 90%, yes, 
live a very, very, very healthy lifestyle. You are what you eat, eat the right foods, take care of yourself, and at the end of the day, you'll be able to have a long, fruitful life. It's so important to live a healthy lifestyle. Um, and I want to conclude here. Big no High School! Listen to my message right here. I don't want you when you're 30 years old living in your parents' basement watching that cable TV. That's right, out you go, out you go. Ain't no living in there. We're going to get you out, all right? Because we're going to make something of ourselves, right? You're not going to go home and say, Mom and Dad, I got to stay in the basement to get that cable TV. Not up in here. We're going to have fun. So ladies and gentlemen, everyone, stand up. Let's get funky right here, guys. Let's stand up. Let's stand up. Clap our hands. Let's stand up. Turn it up, baby. Come on, Mr. McClain. Can we clap our hands? questions and answers, please let me know. Feel free to ask any questions. Feel free. Don't matter. I'm open. Where, Beth? Am I able to buy some lemonade from you? I'm sorry, what was the question? Can I buy some lemonade from you? I'll tell you what, you can't buy it, but I'll give you compliments. Ooh. How about that? How about compliments? Get over here. There we go. Compliment. But you gotta help me out here. Ready, guys? Ready? Shake it. Shake it. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You know I'm real. You know I'm real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm real.
How are you able to be so energetic all the time? Thank you. Well, first of all, remember I said well, I think we're all born with a gift, whatever that gift may be. And I always said a long time ago that I was born with a gift of energy. But, but to contain it and keep the ongoing of the energy, it's living a healthy lifestyle. Living a very clean, healthy lifestyle to keep doing what I'm doing. Do you guys know how old I am? Take a guess. 75. I thought I said 85. And also, don't take yourself too seriously. That's another, that's a key. I, you know, and this is what I do. It is what it is. That's right. Have fun in life. That's right. I am what I am. And then you convey that energy, create that fun, and people love it. And hey, Mr. Lemonade Guy, how old are you? I can't hear. How old are you? Did you, hear, how how old are you? Did 52. you tell? can run circles around those 25 year olds. Is that you? Yeah. yeah. Yo. Yes. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> King David. I tell you what, if you video me, you can post whatever on your YouTube or the snap the channel. Yo, what's up? Like, let's do that, bro. I can do that. I All right. Know, you give it to me and I'll my web guys do it. Remember, one of my secrets is, I believe in life. There's certain things you're good at, and there's other things that you aren't. And the things that I'm good at, I hone my skill. The things that I'm not, I, have, I hire people to help me with those things I'm not good at. Yes! What, what, what's your favorite beverage to sell at a baseball game? Oh, oh. are you ready? consider going to college or did you even attend college? Actually, I went to University of Maryland College Park and majored in corporate fitness. This is for her. Can you run for president in 2020? For you, yes! All right, my 
question to you is what's the meaning of life in your definition? My meaning of life and definition is be, be your authentic self. Don't change for anybody and be true to who you are. Be true to who you are. Hey, and love, hey, and love yourself. Can you dab for us? Can you dab for us? Dab? Let's dab, son. Yeah! 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 Okay, join me again in thanking Mark, the lemonade shaker guy. You guys rock! Keep the party going and the dance alive because you guys are the real superstars. Yeah! And you are a future! You guys rock!